three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis as Columbus sets sail on a voyage of science to the space station. Ten years ago, on February the 7th, 2008, ESA's laboratory Columbus was launched to the ISS. It was carried by the space shuttle Atlantis. During the 13-day shuttle mission, the European laboratory was secured to the ISS's Harmony module and activated. The laboratory is ESA's largest contribution to the space station and the first permanent European research facility on orbit. Amongst the shuttle crew were ESA astronauts Hans Schlegel and Leopold Eyarts. I was lucky to be part of this mission and to be the, the, the first European astronaut to get into Columbus and turn on the lights. So the initial work was to make sure that everything was working well. So the systems, the core systems of the module, of course, and then we started also to work with the uh, scientific facilities to make sure that they were also working well before we start the real scientific work. The state-of-the-art laboratory is almost seven meters long and four and a half meters in diameter. It has no less than 10 racks to accommodate scientific equipment. They were specially designed to optimize the 75 cubic meters of available space. Each rack can also host an autonomous laboratory. In the past decade, ESA astronauts have performed a multitude of scientific experiments in Columbus, some of which gave important results, like how plant life copes in microgravity. This research could be crucial in developing food production systems for long-duration space missions. Another series of experiments have tested the resilience of several life forms when exposed to the vacuum of space for a prolonged period of time. However, one of the most commonly tested subjects on Columbus are the astronauts themselves. By analyzing their blood, brains, muscle and bone structure, the astronauts gather important information on the effects of prolonged spaceflight on the human body. International Space Station is also a, a, a very good tool for preparing the future of exploration. It can be on the medical side, on the studies of the human body, but also on technology, robotics and all these kind of things which will be used uh, in future exploration. Columbus offers the scientific community a unique weightless environment for multidisciplinary research into material science, fluid physics and life science. In addition, an external payload facility outside of the module hosts experiments and applications in the field of space science, Earth observation and technology. After a decade in orbit, ESA's space lab has proven to be an important part of the ISS. In the years to come, it will continue to have a significant impact on European scientific endeavor and be a home for ESA astronauts while in orbit. <laughs>